To help improve your deliverability and your image, your brand reputation, you want to make sure that you choose a really good from field email address and that means an email address that's associated with your own domain. So you don't want to use, if you uh, can avoid it, a free email domain like Gmail, uh, Yahoo, Hotmail for actually sending your messages to your subscribers. You do want to go ahead and have uh, you know, your own email address and email domain set up. Uh, you know, within your own uh, DNS settings of your website. So we have some information here. There's an FAQ that's actually linked in with some more information about uh, why it's not a good idea, a little bit more of the history of, uh, you know, the implementation of this particular policy and why it's important for you to have your own email address set up here. But it definitely will have a lot of, you know, impact on the legitimacy of you uh, as a business, as what you're offering to your subscribers and really impacting your deliverability. And so that's the first hurdle, is to have your own domain uh, actually set up. You can see here, there's a full list of, um, you know, these international domains and things like this. But the first hurdle is, you know, certainly setting up your own domain and associating it with your email address. This is kind of the best case. And so, you know, the first, let's say, you know, task for you to do is to get that set up. And then once you have it ready, you go into Manage Account right here from this icon. You go to Email Addresses. You can see I have some examples here. I have an authenticated email domain that is, you know, a good example of what you should use associated, uh, you know, with own, within your own uh, website, let's say, your own business. I have this example of Gmail, so it is not recommended with information. You can see I was able to add it, but it is certainly not recommended. And then one, for example, that has an authentication pending. So this is, a, for example, how you would actually be able to authenticate that. Um, you know, within your DKIM settings as well. So these are just a few examples. But once you actually do it, you would just click Add Email, and then you need to add the name associated with this email. So what people will see, uh, again, in the From field in their inboxes. So this would be, let's say, Abby from Get Response. And then I can just add in this email address. And then all you need to do uh, you know, if it's already been authenticated, uh, this email address has already been actually authenticated before, uh, this domain uh, within your settings, it would be able to be added and all you have to do is actually confirm it. Uh, and a, a confirmation email will be sent to this email alias and I would just click to confirm it. But then in this case, you can see if this actual email address has not been authenticated with this domain, I would just need to go ahead and actually um, uh, confirm that by pasting this text record uh, in our DKM. Uh, so this is basically just something you, you know, definitely on your journey, uh, you know, with email marketing and online marketing is something that everyone will go through eventually to make sure that you're not sending emails from a free email domain like Gmail or Hotmail or Yahoo, but you actually set up your own um, email address with your own domain and it has a big impact on your deliverability. So it's definitely uh, highly recommended that you do that.